This may come as a surprise to you, but I'm actually travelling through one of Melbourne's parks. That's right, the Yarra River is owned by Parks Victoria. Paddling a sea kayak is a unique way to see the city. The self-propelled tour is the brainchild of Rob Smith, who runs Melbourne Kayaks. It's the kind of thing that anyone can do. You don't need any special skills or experience. I'm, I'm, little... I'm testament to that. <laughs> we do a little bit of training before we begin, and after that, people just seem to pick it up as they go. You also pick up plenty of information along the way. This whole area on the right-hand side is called Victoria Harbour. It was the busiest port uh, in Melbourne right up until the 1960s. But with the advent of container ships, the infrastructure just couldn't handle the larger ships. Before running out of steam, we dock for a dinner with a difference. Ah, oh, that is a new definition of a delivery boy. Who's hungry? Ship me. <laughs> What are people's reactions when they see the city at night? Well, most of them just can't believe they've never done it before and they're just uh, basically overwhelmed with how the, the city looks so completely different from the perspective of paddling on the Yarra. Most onlookers can't believe it either. People usually get up out of their chairs and take a lot of photos. Particularly the Japanese are really interested in the idea of people paddling down the river in the middle of a big city. As night arrives, Rob continues to shed light on the origins of this sparkling city. Uh, did you know, guys, uh, Princess Bridge was actually a toll bridge when it first opened, so usually think of toll bridges and toll roads being a new thing. No, not at all. The three-hour journey costs $89, which includes the fish and chips. That's beautiful. How do you top something like this? 